This place is wearing me down. I've had time to think. There is something about this place, mistress. I cannot, as you might say, put my finger on it. A uh, good something or a bad something? Perhaps both, mistress. An uncanny something. Oh no, six. Why are we making such a face? Oh, a third inscription right there. This is the start of a fragment of text. I cannot really um remember the first inscription. The second was that uh, like the sick will be made healthy. The first one, I don't know. This is low. I bet this is part of an of, of a longer word, but okay, let's let's go with that. Um That's not how it's supposed to work. I, I'm i pretty sure. Yeah, that doesn't feel right. So, we, we have to save it for later. Um, yep. Yeah. This is pissing me off. Is there was something strange here? I don't see anything strange. Nor do I, mistress. That I fear appears to me strange. Okay. You get dust in your wiring? Yes, mistress, but not deeply. There is something here. Pretty impressive place. The rock had been scooped out to make a roof for the courtyard, keeping it safe from the endless storm beyond. It's so quiet. This was a secret place. Is this really a palace? I don't think so, Alia. Barely a couple of rooms, and then this. There was a chair. What? What kind of chair? Where are you going? Here. In the center of this place. What are you doing, Six? Are you remembering something? A chair. On wheels. I sat down in it, mistress. They put something on my bro. What do you mean, sat? I sat in a chair. Golden. Painted, of course. Carved with leaves, winding up its legs. Faces watching me. I remember the texture of the wood. I could barely lift my head, but I lifted it all the same. Mistress, I was tied. Something's happening to you, Six. There's something here doing something to you. I am myself, Mistress. I am not surprised if that upsets you. We should get out of here. I can't move. I control the hopper, Mistress. I will not activate it for you. Do you have an off switch, maybe? Do you? Now be quiet. I can't hear above your chatter. Holy crap, Six, what happened to you? Okay, I'll just uh, look at all those stuff here. So I can alter to me. This is it a temple, then? Did the Empress secretly worship the ancient gods? Got some inscriptions down here. Beautiful workmanship. There's a few words in this one. And, uh... Live. Forever. Um... Place me so here live forever here it's a strange offer to make the people die here crap man i don't i don't know 
I'll get down to you six in, in just, a, just a while, okay? I need to see some stuff here. Not much visible. The dust has worn it all away. A few images, but it's hard to see what they are. These stone panels must have all been inscribed ones. Telling some kind of story. Gone now. This door seems stuck. Why does that not surprise me? Anyway, let's check out the other side of that uh, courtyard and then get down to the uh, main place. Mr. Side did not wish to allow me, but I'm sure I had something moving nearby. Why do you think the gods are coming for us? No, mistress. Something below. Crap, what are you saying? Is there a vault here? Have you found it? Found the vault, I mean. That does not fit our previous evidence, mistress. This place is a palace, not a vault. Okay, so there has to be a... A secret passage leading down, right? Because there, that's that's not much of a palace, but maybe the palace is uh, below the ground. That would make uh, a lot of sense, wouldn't it? What is this? I need to see this. How do I see this? And it's gone. Most curious. Yes, I see. Ah, hmm. oh, scrawled symbols. Yeah, let's check those out. Someone wrote something on his pillar. I've never seen ancient symbols scrawled like this. We're in charcoal, I think. Oh, these seem like new symbols. The first word doesn't look like anything I've seen before. And I've seen some similar words for this before. Um. Yeah, so so those are so those are numbers. Just because of the of the hints here. And and this thing I'm I'm not sure. Three three hundred and something. Maybe like that? Three twenty. Three hundred and I don't I don't know the rule for that. Uh, at all, at all, but this would make it, I mean, this I just chose arbitrarily, this, this would make sense that X hundred and Y uh, makes, makes a proper word, a number, so 300 and, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm fairly sure those are numbers, I'm sure of that too. But what they're meant to signify? Hmm. No idea. No idea at all. I'm with you, Alia. Can't really, can't really tell what those are. By the moons! Could have plunged straight over. Look over the edge. It's not unfinished building work. These stones were removed here, lifted away. Someone broke into whatever's below. Six isn't going to stop me. Are we jumping? No, no, come on. No, no, no. Let's let's go to six first, okay? Then we'll... Oh, I have completed my analysis of the hopper eye. I have sent test packets through and analyzed the minor refractions. I would like to leave now, mistress. But I cannot hopper us from under the rock. You have obtained four promising artifacts here. The curators and Iox will be most content. I like to activate the hopper now, mistress. Well, no. Of course not. So. Are you going to tell me what that hopper does? I observed two things about it. Individually, they are of trivial interest. Together, they are unpleasant. Just tell me. 
this eye is flawed, mistress. Internal cracking means that it can only refract some of the information passed to it. Specifically, the physical matrix is not refracted. If used, only the neural mesh would disentangle. So it's only half a hopper. Indeed, mistress. You might hopper to the eye and never arrive. My second finding is, however, more pressing. This hopper is not broken. It has been carefully engineered to function this way. But what good is a neural mesh without a physical matrix? <laughs> I wonder that all the time. Can a neural mesh be stored? For what good that might do? Mistress, we have found all we can hope to hear. We should leave. No, 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 no. Definitely not. What I'm thinking is that this, this little guy here is actually not a robot at all, but just another recording of someone very, very important. That would be so awesome if our little six was like an ancient emperor, for example, uh, hoppered here so that only his mind was uh, intact and not his body. And that's why he remembers things. Are you ready to go yet, mistress? Don't hassle me. We have a hole here. There must be something down there. I run enough for water, perhaps. If this moon ever had any. So we have the water goddess here. This one is the water goddess from Mayerzi. Nice to see an old friend out here. And we do have some glyphs. I know those symbols. They read as water. As we thought. If that is like that, then here is the death god. As we've already saw this one and the emperor's graveyard. Still weeping. She probably also has some glyphs, but they are obscured by a stone here. Now, an armless god. This one seems to be just the head on a stack of barrels. But it has some glyphs. And... This isn't a word I already know. I'll have to make a guess. So this, uh... <coughs> it's ground. On the ground. Animal on the ground. Strength metal bird or serpent. Snake. As a serpent gut without the arms. I'll go with that. Just the first, uh... First thing that came to my mind. Although it doesn't explain why they ancient worshipped snakes. I, I'm... So they might not have worshipped snakes. That might be like a metaphor. Another one is a giving goddess. This one seems to be giving something. Or maybe holding something. And let's check out those glyphs. Place. Just one word. At least it's short. Um, this is light. This is place. Place of light. Sun. The sun goddess. That'll do for now. That would explain what it's giving. A reaching god. This one's reaching for something. He's fruit picking, perhaps. We have some glyphs, too. I'm already sure of these glyphs as well. They say sky. A god of the sky and rivers. Is that who you are? And a praying goddess. I don't recognize this one. God? Goddess? I can't really tell. Seems curious to assign the gender to a god, mistress. After all, what would they do with it? Cairn of stones. This must have been placed here deliberately. To mark this god in particular? Let's move those. I wonder if behind all of these, there may be a glyph? Yeah, we have a glyph here. There. More glyphs. That might tell us who this god is. Um. This was a broken fragment from a longer phrase. Oh. Cool. So ground. Yep. 
That's, uh, that's right. So the goddess of the earth. If we have the goddess of the, uh, the sky and the sun, so this might be the goddess of the earth. That, that would make sense. Are you ready to go now, mister? Stop asking me that. Not yet. Still have a lot to do. First of all, I, I need to see what that harper does. Harper eye. Is there something embedded in the stone here? Never seen anything like it. It's like a device of some kind. What do you make of it, Six? In, evidently, it is old, mistress. Evidently, it is very old. Tell me something specific, robot. Well, I would estimate the metal in this beast to be nearly two and a half thousand years old. <laughs> That's not possible. I thought this was an empire site. The artifact clearly predates the empire. I did not think you were a believer in the loop, mistress. And if you are not, then surely any age is possible. Is this lined up with the eye? This is aligned to the hopper eye. I believe it is a hopper's horse, yes, mistress. A sort of a emitter, although it is clearly defunct. This is old as anything we've anything we've ever found. Indeed, mistress. So, first of all, I would like to check out this wall and the hopper eye. The source of easier is to be aimed directly at the hopper eye. Can we use it? Do you really want to? Uh, perhaps it refracts underground. To whatever's down there. If this hopper directed one underground mistress, then one would require another hopper inside that space to return. Is this a place of execution? A hopper set up to carry you straight into a rock? It is indeed possible. So that's a hopper eye, looking towards the altar. I believe so, mistress. Let's take a quick look around the place for just a, just a small while. Oh, there was something here. Some more graffiti here. More charcoal glyphs. These ones looks more promising than the last, I think. Oh, because these are not uh, not numbers. So again, palace of something. I mean, I know this is not what I was, uh, why do I need to, to fill in all those, uh, spaces? Do I really? I don't have any more words here. Yeah. And then this way we do have two words. Two words to guess. The palace of... This is like we persons of truth. No, persons verb that that say the truth that uh, something like this. But that might that. Cannot be goddess because goddess is a uh, is this without the first uh, glyph. So princes, potters, or friends will um, something low fall. The palace of princes will fall. Let's go with that. I think that's correct. The Palace of Princes, though. Is that this place? Or somewhere else? 
There are only one place that feel that I know about, and that was an Iox. It really is where the fall began. Unless it means this place. The use of the future, then, syndicates somewhat other than here, mistress. You have discovered the existence of one new location of interest, an unknown ancient site. Are you ready to go yet, mistress? Not just yet. You really don't want to stay here, do you? Unfortunately for you, Six, I really do want to stay here. Let's toss a stone into into the hole. Fall. Wall. Hole. Shit. Here's a stone. And plop. Nothing. If it hit the bottom at all, I didn't hear it. What's down there? The hole has to lead somewhere. The space below is deep, mistress. Appallingly deep. Well, there's only one thing we can do now. And it is... To fall into the hole. You sound scared, Six. Yes, mistress. This place is a deeply unhappy one. I'm gonna go down. Mistress, please, do you really have to? Yarp. Whee! And I'm down. Oof. Said Alia. Oof, my bones. Empty, cold, stale air. What is this place? What was down here worth taking? Oh, well, this... Having space all around me. Alia, what have you found? That's the hole we saw above. Light? Something to do with the hopper eye. This space is huge. It's so cold. Let's go right way down to the core. What was that? I'm sure I heard something. Sure of it. Maybe it was the stone I dropped in from above. Maybe it finally hit the bot. Ramps. No stairs. Easy now. I want to fall. It's as if it's made for robots. Why would you build uh why would you build ramps instead of stairs, if not for the robots? I kicked a stone. That was the noise. Definitely not something moving around here. Seems to be whispering. Security pants. No, seriously, what was that? Definitely saw something moving. What? So, really? What? Why are you going up? I can't go in there. She's... The noise is gone now, I think. This place was built for robots. Yeah, it was. They were buried in here. I wonder if there's a chamber like this under Ryok somewhere. I don't like it down here one little bit. Uh, okay. Let's check out the... The circumference. But why build something like this? As a prison? As a hideout. And where did all the robots go? Was this a treasure vault? You store vast amounts here. This isn't Rembrandt's mysterious vault, surely. How far down does it go? How many robots were down there? And where are they now? This isn't a good idea. These walkways are steep and narrow and who knows what's down there. Come on, Alia! She's going back up again on her own. I cannot move her down to the to the well. Just one more try, okay? If she doesn't want to go there, we'll... Yep. She doesn't want to go there. This looks like a... like a stair... um... How's it called? Like... the Indian wells 
like deep stairwells with water at the bottom. I'm I'm not talking about the stairwells in in like buildings. Uh, this looks like like something of uh, of that kind. But I can see the light hitting the the earth down there. This chamber was sealed up. The underground room had no way in or out. The robots were kept down there. But then someone let them out. Okay, if you say so, but you're still not too interested in going down, are you, Alia? We can't do anything about it, can we? The hopper eye must have been the only way in the pit below. Not that they were buried in Iox. Not simply bricked up in the walls. There's definitely something moving around down here. Come on, we were so close! Stop! Maybe we have to find, like, the... The, the, the single... The single proper way to go down here. No. Can't go any further. Sheesh. Stop. Man, okay. That I've I've I'm fed up with this. I'm I'm just going up and getting out of this place because Alia's apparently not too keen on going down to the bottom of the well. So We'll just get back to six. Oh, there's something here. A crude rock hammer. Looks like it dates from at least the early empire. What's this doing here? Is this how they got down in here? This is mining equipment. How did this come to be here? The marker didn't include... Maker didn't include an inscription on the blade. Most likely this comes from the same place as the shattered knife I found here before. Well, okay. Let's get out of here. So I went into a lot of trouble to get down here. What were you looking for? Were you looking for robots? I'm coming back, Six. There was something down there. I'm sure of it. You have found one more promising artifact here. The rock hammer. We have also found initial evidence of one more new location, the pre-Empire site. Are you ready to go now, mistress? Yeah, okay. Do it. Do it. Stand by, mistress. We're going back to the ship. And so we left the surface to the site of the Withering Palace. With rumors of two undiscovered sites. And we do have a lot of inscriptions without, uh, without any translations. Let's leave all those things for for later. In that case, and get back to the ship and decide what to do next. So the next, uh, the next uh, site we will visit will probably be Amaru's observatory. Because this is the the closest one. So let us plot the course to there. 